Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to the GV channel. Ladies and gentlemen, where we are playing as Jolt in the land of Fulgaria. I love the name, and I love the name of the world. Very cool to me. Very cool indeed. All right, it's been a long, long time since I have recorded this game, mainly because Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke, right? We had to do that. Um... Yeah, we had to finish that, which, by the way, if you're, like, a Terraria fan... Oh, my God, we're so fast now. Yeah, if you're, like, a Terraria fan, but you're not a Pokemon fan, well, I would definitely suggest checking it out, um, in my opinion. And a lot of people have said this. Lots of people are saying this. Uh, you know, there's they're, <laughs> they're saying it's the best Pokemon series of all time. They're saying, um... <laughs> they're saying... I keep getting to the Trump impression. Why are these guys red? Also, this is loud as hell. My God. Um, yeah. So, anyways, what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, the Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke was so much fun. It meant a lot to me. And in my opinion, it's a really good series. So, if you haven't checked it out and you're looking for another series of mine to watch, definitely check out the most recent completed Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Uh, Why are these guys red? Wait, I must have some, yeah, one of these things, right? You can tell 10%, wait, what? Shows the location of enemies, Hunter, yep. Um, so yeah, check that out, but anyways, we had to complete that, uh, which was a lot of fun, and then also, uh, we had an open slot, and usually when I, when I do a new series, you know, I try to do at least an hour, or usually when I, when a, when a new series comes out that I'm doing, I try to, like, make that week about it. Right, so The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, I wanted to start 100% for that, so we started that, and uh, yeah, I wanted to do like two episodes for it, you know, to kind of give it the spotlight, right? But I was always going to come back to this because I am having a lot of fun with Terraria. It is such a good, fun, interesting game. Also, I'm on a time limit here, so I need to try to get over to the right side of the map ASAP. I don't even know if it's the right side of the map, though. It might be on the left side. For you Terraria experts, you may know what I'm talking about. Because I really don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to get there and then have it not be nighttime. That would not be good. Uh, so anyways, point is, yeah, we're back to Terraria. So welcome back. A recap so far. Well, we got the first boss killed in the last episode. I would like to think we're progressing way faster than my first Terraria series. Hopefully that's the case. Uh, because, yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. I mean, listen, like, some people were a little hard on me, I think, because, like, let's be real here. Terraria is a tough freaking game to, like, get the hang of, man, in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? Um, okay, this is not good. I think I need to dig up here. There we go. Yeah, Terraria is a tough game to get the hang of, so it's like, you know, obviously I'm gonna make freaking mistakes, man. It's just, that's kind of the name of the game. Um, so anyways... Yeah, we gotta try to get over to the right side of the map before it is, uh, daytime, ideally. Uh, oh my god. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, I didn't even check below me. Okay. So, yeah, uh, to recap, basically we got our first boss killed, the Eye of Cthulhu, which was more doable than I expected, basically. I think we did a good job with that. And then now, I'm trying to get to the right side of the map because there is another objective. Boopity, 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 boopity. What's that? Zealous blowpipe? Ooh. We'll have to look into that. But right now we are in danger. Uh, we are in a lot of danger. My god, how, how far does this biome go? For the love of god. And I can't even tell where this crap is that hurts you. Uh, so, I, oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna press H here. Jeez, alright. All right, all right. Luckily, our damage is good, but as usual, Terraria just feels so awkward. Uh, you know, I think this is the type of game where you really have to play a lot of it to really get the movement and attack speed down and stuff like that, obviously, dependent on the different... Oh, my God. The different types of uh, weapons and stuff like that. Okay, um, how do I get... I guess I got to build kind of horizontally, don't I? Yeah, like this. Uh, okay. So, yeah, uh, basically, I want to go in with, like, a new objective. By the way, how long is this freaking biome? Like, my god. It's lasting forever. Also, I think it's turning daylight now, so that's not good. But, oh, well. I mean, I just wanted to give it a go. 
Yeah, lots of things to talk about, and as usual, there's so much going on in Terraria. It's a very freaking, very freaking fast-paced game a lot of the time. Uh, so yeah, I want to go into each episode now with, like, a goal in mind, you know? And that's relatively, um, you know, relatively, uh, 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 casual, because obviously this game can throw a lot of weird things at you. It's not gonna be, like, a linear just, oh, I want to do this thing, and I do this thing. You know, you gotta, like, kind of build up to a lot of stuff. So, yes, the goal now is to go towards the next sort of boss... Which, uh, I have beaten in the first series. I mean, we got to hard mode in the first series. So, obviously, like, anything... Ah, oh, crap, it's daytime, isn't it? Uh, obviously, anything, you know, um, up until hard mode, we have defeated. And I'm not sure if we did anything past that. I think we got to hard mode in the first series. And then, um... Yeah, I kind of just quickly ended the series after that. Just because, I don't know, I was starting new things. It's not that I didn't want to play this anymore. It was just that... I think kind of other things took the spotlight and whatever. Okay, we got the Zealous Blowpipe. Nine range damage, 9% critical strike chance, fast speed, weak knockback, allows a collection of seeds for ammo, 5% critical strike chance. So this sounds god-awful, right? Yeah, compared to our Shroomerang. I guess we'll try it, though. Does it... Oh, we need ammo. Wow, we need ammo, too, for it. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Oh boy, so anyways, welcome back to uh, Terraria. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough thus far. This is episode 11, I do believe. And yeah, this game is so cool and so fun. You know, it's the type of game that's really built for me once I get the hang of it. Oh, we should get these cactus things, because there's like cactus ammo, although we might already have like a better version of it or whatever. Uh, what do we need, an axe? Yeah, there's like cactus stuff that you can build. Uh, but yeah, this game is, like, built for me, uh, once I get the hang of it. Because, like, it's not the type of game... It's the type of game that I will grow to love, mainly because there are so many things in it. So many items, bosses, effects, stuff like that. I love that. I love variety in general and, like, you know, ooh, what does this thing do? What does this thing do? The only barrier to that love is the trickiness of this game and, like, how you kind of have to learn it. And use the wiki for a lot of stuff, right? So, uh, yeah. It should be a fun series. Like I said, the ultimate goal is to beat this game. And I don't even know what that means. Um, I am not even sure if you can beat this game. Obviously, if you can, you know, do all bosses and all major content and everything like that. That's what I would like to go for. But I also don't know how much of a Herculean task that is. Because, you know, I, uh... Yeah, I, I, I don't want to spoil this game for myself, and, you know, I, I also want to do everything, so. That's the goal for this series, um, and currently I'm trying to basically balance all my other YouTube channels, because right now I have a lot going on, on and off YouTube. I'm doing a lot of different projects, and one habit that I can get into is kind of doing quantity over quality, you know, doing a lot of different things, but then not giving each thing enough attention that it deserves, right? So I really want to make sure that I'm not doing that, uh, because I've done that in the past, and it's, you know, you want to you wanna be, yep, here we go. You want to be proud of what you do, right? You want to make content that's, like, you're proud of, right? So, yeah, I guess all that to say, I'm really enjoying this game, and if you want to um, go on this adventure with me, well, you know, it should be a pretty fun one. Okay, so this is what I was trying to find, yep, this thing here, so... I think we just stumbled upon this the last time uh, we got here. Because I, I don't even think I knew about this. I think somebody may have left a comment like, hey, you should go to the edge of the world. And it just happened. And I didn't even really know what I was doing. So, this is the right edge of the world. And you can see we have a man here. Old man, 250 HP. My master cannot be summoned under the light of day. Yeah, and that's exactly why I wanted to be here at nighttime. Because, yes, you need to talk to this guy at night to do something. That very well may just kill me because I don't even know how hard it's going to be. Uh, I think by the time we did this in the first series, it was laughably easy. But right now, I don't know if that's going to be the case. So, oh, wait, what? Okay. So, I did a little big of little bit of digging 
Because I obviously, you know, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything for myself. But at the same time, I do want to have a goal for, like, the playthrough. Because I feel like the first uh, playthrough was kind of just aimless a lot of the times. Because I didn't really know what I was doing and I didn't want to look it up. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, I do know you don't want to go into uh, that place. I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I think we do not want to walk in there until we deal with the old man and what he has to say. So, the question is, um, can you, like, go over this? I actually don't know what's... Wait, what? Oh, does Terraria, like, loop around? Did I just not realize I could have walked over this the last playthrough? Because I thought, like, in my head, it was like, oh, yeah, once you get to the edge, that's it. You have to go back the other way. But uh, clearly, we can go past it, which is quite interesting. Also, what am I throwing? Oh, for some reason, it looked, like, not like a shroomerang. Looked like something else. Okay, so anyways, yeah, we got to come back to that old man when it's nighttime, as he said, which I was trying to avoid. But oh well. So anyways, did I do the recap? I think that I did. Um, yeah, dealt with the Eye of Cthulhu and basically, you know, just trying to get her trying to get uh, some leeway in this world, which is much harder than you would think. This game is uh, what would be the word? This game is deceptively challenging. Yeah. Uh, and then also I have a comment question of the episode for you if you would like to answer it in the comment section below. And that is going to be, uh, what is your favorite graphical style? What is your favorite style of graphics or aesthetic in a video game? Obviously, with Terraria here, we have pixel art. Ooh, here we go. Some interesting stuff here. Yeah, obviously, with Terraria, uh, we have pixel art, right? Ooh, what's at the top, I wonder? Can I get in there? What, what do we need? To oh, yeah, we do dig into it with a pickaxe. Okay, I'm kind of curious what's at the top. Could there be, like, a secret or something? This game is, like, really good with, like, you know, putting secrets, rewarding exploration, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, obviously we got Terraria, which is pixel art, of course. Um, you know, you have, like, uh, the PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64 era in terms of, like, polygonal graphics. That's probably one of my least favorites, which is kind of funny because I think that era is, like, my favorite era of gaming. Purely for, like, nostalgia. But I do find it to be very ugly. Um, some games make it work. But even, like, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, it's like... Man, those games are kind of ugly. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, it's, an, it's a whole aesthetic. And I think, obviously, they, they did the best that they could. But I just do find that kind of era kind of ugly. But anyways, that would not be my favorite. The whole PS1, N64 era. And then I guess PS2 kind of... You know, there's a whole meme around PS2 graphics, so I guess that's its whole thing. I didn't really grow up with PS2, so I can't talk too much about that. Uh, and then, what else? Yeah, pixel graphics, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to think of some more, like, unique style. Uh, you know, like, Hollow Knight's a good example of something that I absolutely love the aesthetic of. It's I don't even know how you would describe that. It's kind of... You know, it's a very... Um, dark and moody and kind of almost like a painted look to it if that makes sense I, I, yeah i don't even know how to describe hollow knight but i'm trying to think of some of my favorite games banjo tooie n64 era majora's mask n64 era um you know the final fantasy 9 n64 yeah ps1 era um yeah hollow knight i do love the look of i love i love the look of FromSoft games like um you know, Bloodborne, for instance. I do love that as well. I guess there's not going to be anything in this tree, huh? Darn it. I wanted to find something interesting. Maybe if we get to the very top, something cool will happen. That would be epic. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay, fair enough. I just wanted to check. You never know. Uh, but what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, kind of Xbox 360 era, you know, modern games, obviously. Something like God of War Ragnarok, Sp Marvel Spider-Man. I mean, obviously, those are beautiful games in their own right as well. So, what's your favorite aesthetic for a video game? Uh, would it be pixel art for me? I don't think so. God, yeah, it's actually hard for me to even... It's hard for me to even come up with a um, answer for that. I'm trying to think, like, what is... You know, Darkest Dungeon is a good example of something that I love the aesthetic of. It's very unique. It's kind of got these, like, 2D, very dark sprites. 
yeah, I guess that style would be my answer, honestly. I mean, I do love, like, you know, Marvel Spider-Man, like, really beautiful modern games that are just beautiful to look at. Oh, my God, look how far this goes. I do love that. Uh, I guess we'll just go down here because we got some time to burn. And we should be able to walk up pretty easily, right, with our little claws or whatever. Where does this go? What the heck is this? Is it a cave system? Oh, it's like a whole cave system down here. Does this, is this anything like important? Like, I don't know if this is considered like some special thing where like, oh, you get to the bottom of a tree and like, you know, there's like some special thing down there or some, wow, this goes way down there. Um, I mean, this isn't really the adventure. Also, are we gonna die? Because I have, like, no way to... I think we gotta build straight up here, but I'm running out of dirt. Okay, that's not good. Uh, we got five blocks left. Okay, that's good. And then I just need to jump over here. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, we need another block. Tell me I don't have to use wood, man. Because there was, like, a... I wanted to use more stuff. Living wood platform. Oh! Yeah, that'll do the trick. Okay, so... So, oh yeah, and platforms, because we can place it on the wall. All right, so we gotta be smart here. Let's clear out these cobwebs, take back the platform. Yeah, and because it's like a wall, I can place it on the wall, and then use that to get out of here, cool. Okay, hopefully it's nighttime now, we can get out of here. I, I, yeah, if there's something down there, let me know in the comments, because I don't know if this is like a special thing or what. Um, okay, so this is gonna be a challenge, there we go. Okay, I need you to, like, jump. I feel like I'm playing N+. Anybody know what I'm talking about? There's, like, this old platformer called, like, N. Oh, my God, it was so fun. Um, okay, let's jump on this, then jump out here. What is the outside? Yeah, it looks like it's getting to be evening, right? Do we have, like, a time or anything? Does it say what time it is or anything like that? I guess not. Okay, let's get back to the top of the... Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Again, we'll also put a platform here, just like that. Let's also cut through this because we got a little bit more time to burn before it's nighttime. So let's head down here. Ooh, wait, what is this? Oh, it's like a whole island. Ooh, we got an NPC. It's like a whole island uh, kind of motif. So yeah, anyways, let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite graphical style? Pixel art, Pokemon, you know, some sort of game that has a unique style, kind of like Darkest Dungeon. I guess I would say Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's an answer out there that's not immediately coming to me, but yeah, just look up Darkest Dungeon if you don't know what I'm talking about. It, it, it's such a beautiful art style. Okay, we got the Sleeping Angler. You saved me. You're awful nice. I could use you, er, I mean, totally hire you to do some awesome stuff for me. Okay. I'm a kid. You need to give me a house. Are you dumb? Yes, I get to be alone with all my fish. Why is the ocean my favorite place to go? It has tons of cool fish, duh. Okay, so we got to build this guy a house. Why is my why is the ocean has tons of cool fish? Okay, quest. Normally, I could care less if I see fish bones floating in the water underground, but this one was swimming. What, you thought that only human skeletons still flailed about in Fulgaria? Get it for me so I can stick it in someone's bed. Caught in underground and caverns. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we never did this in the original series, but we got the quest, I do believe, the Bonefish. What? What is this? Bonefish quest item caught in the underground and caverns. In the underground and caverns? So does that literally just mean underground and also just in a cavern? Or is that a special type of biome or something? Okay, well, I'll try to find you a bonefish. Yeah, I don't think I ever figured out how to fit. What is happening? How do I get out of this? Why, why am I chatting with a quest item? What the heck? Okay, um, so anyways, yeah, let's start heading back to uh, that guy. Wait, what? Why can I place this? Oh, because it's like on the side of the vine, I guess. Why can I place a platform? That seems kind of odd. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's get back. Um, okay. I don't think we ever figured out how to fish, or maybe we did, and I'm totally forgetting. My left butt cheek is itching. I know that's too much information, but literally it's annoying because I have to paw. You know when you get, like, an itch that won't go away? It kind of goes away when you itch it, but then it comes back every, like, three minutes or something. That's what's going on on my literal left butt cheek at the moment. It's really annoying. 
But luckily, I'm just in my boxers at the moment, so it's quite easy to access. Jolt has defeated the 50th zombie. Come on, butt cheek. It's one of those persistent itches, you know? You know what I mean? Okay, what the heck is all that? Whoa, what is... I forget what this is. Somebody, like, mentioned this, I do believe. What is this? Yeah, it's like some sort of event or something. I don't know. But anyways, it is nighttime. And we've got the guy. Now, I think all I need to do is press B to use my potions, right? Because I think of B as, like, buff, and it buffs me up with all the potions. So hopefully we're good here. Let's see. You pathetic fool. You cannot hope to face my master as you are now. Curse and close. Curse? Whoa! Yeah, okay. B. Uh, I should have placed a campfire down too. I don't think B did anything. I should have honestly buffed. Uh, what am I hitting here? Okay, so he's got like skeleton. Oh my god, I probably bit off more than I could chew here. Um, can I like run? I literally boxed myself in too, which was very stupid. Oh, and he's just chasing me. Okay, um, well, yep, and I can't really go anywhere. He's perfectly, like, kind of interrupting me, which I'm so used to. Yeah. Alrighty. Great, drop 20 silver, 16 copper. Okay, that's not too bad, right? Because it's like, what, 100 silver to make one gold? Also, what did I just eat? Cozy fire, happy boobit speed, increased and monster spawns reduced. Banner, increased damage and defense from the falling green slime, the dirtiest block. Well, that didn't go well. Um, yeah, that guy seems way more difficult than I originally thought he was going to be. Because uh, like I said in the first playthrough, we immediately killed that guy. Like, he wasn't even a challenge at all, but probably because I didn't realize he existed. Ooh, what is that? Enchanted Nightcrawler? So, people get upset in the comments when you, like, kill animals in this game or something. I don't know if this is, like, a rare thing or not. I'm gonna do that, because there's no way I could even capture it. You need, like, a bug net or something, right? Man, oh, man. Okay, well, that's disconcerting, because that guy seems strong as hell, or at the very least, my boomerang is very weak. So, yeah, that's no good. Okay, let's go this and go to this and quick stack to nearby chests. What is that? Zombie banner? Nearby players get a bonus against zombies. Ah. Uh, how do I place this down? Can I just do it like that? Like that? Like that? Ah, uh, classic Terraria, where it's basically impossible to figure out how to place something. Actually, just kidding. It's just simply because I need to put a block above it like the um, this banner, right? So then if I do that, and then if I take you, and then put you there, and then put you there... Yes. Okay, so we get buffs. Not that it probably matters too much. Does it jiggle around too? Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, the piggy bank. Did we ever get the piggy bank? I didn't have enough money or whatever, did I? Ooh, hello. Yoink. What's up, ladies? Okay, so that means we should probably build another house uh, so that that one, yeah, so the fisherman can come over. Because we got all these people, which is great. And then we should have everything to build a house anyways, right? But let's check our inventory and chests real quick. Excess, gold chests, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, we also have cactus. So we can see if we can maybe get an upgrade. What? What'd you say? That totally will not do. Soggy rat is not a hairstyle. Oh, because it's raining. Happiness hairstyle, clothes, and shop. Lovely. I get to keep myself and study my... Keep to myself and study my technique without distraction. Gotcha. All right, so I want to go see if I can build some sort of, like, cactus armor or something like that. And I keep forgetting how you do it with all these different crafting menus. Cactus workbench, mana crystal. Uh, I do have enough for this. So let's make that. Let's consume that. Extra 20 mana permanently. Very good. Go to the crafting. Okay, so here we go. Yes, we have Cactus Helmet, Equipable 1 Defense, Cactus Breastplate, Leggings, Cactus Sword. Oh, that's right, I used the Cactus Sword for a while, I think. I don't think that it was too bad. Uh, 10 melee damage, 4% critical strike chance, average speed, average not back. That's terrible compared to the Shroomerang, right? I think so. Uh, cactus Pickaxe, Cactus Wall, Door, blah, 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 blah. Okay, bunch of different Cactus stuff, but it's all garbage. Shoulda known. 
Should have known. Also, why is it not storing my copper bars? Shouldn't it store this? Okay, what else we got here? Living wood platform, whatever. Zealous blowpipe. Uh, so I should sell some of this stuff. Yeah, that I have. I should get rid of it. What's that? Pink prickly pear. Used to make pink dye. Okay, you can get stored. And then is this where our money is too? We stored our money somewhere. But I don't remember where. In one of these chests, we should have money. I thought it was that one. Uh, sort item. So here it is. Gold, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So copper and silver. And what? Oh. So I should turn these into gold then, right? Oh, we actually have a decent amount of gold now. Okay, so take that. Take that. And then crafting, can you just turn this into gold here? Silver coin can be placed. Uh, how do I turn that into gold? Crafting. Take the silver and put that there? Wait, what? I'm so confused. This menu system still confuses the crap out of me. Why is this here? Silver coin 100 can be placed. Gold coin can be placed. Place a material here. Oh, is this not a material? Gold coin, silver coin. Because I'm talking to him and I'm trying to just use this to see. But I guess you can't turn this into a thing because it's not considered a material. Okay. That's confusing. But anyways. Um, wait, what just happened? It did it automatically, didn't it? Because now the silver's gone, but we have more gold. Yeah. I don't know exactly what happened there. But I still got the same result. So cool. Alright. Let's grab that star. And then I suppose we should make another house. Now the question is, do we have enough room right here to make a house? We should, right? Because it's not at all uh, too... You don't, you don't have to have a lot of area to make a house, right? So we should be able to do like that. And then the wood. So boop, boop, boop. We'll give them like that much space. Wait, what? I don't want dirt to be in the ground. That looks ugly as hell. No. And then where's my dirt blocks? Put that there. And then go to the wood. And then put that there. There we go. And then build that like up to right about there. I want it to be level. I know a lot of people probably just like scoff at this because they're like, oh my god, you actually make your houses, you know, aesthetic? How foolish. And I get that, but also, yes, I typically I try to make everything aesthetic. You know, it's just the way that I am. Okay, workbench, create that, put that there. Workbench here. I guess we should get rid of this crap too. I don't know if it matters at all. Probably not. Okay. Then, with the workbench, we need two doors. So we click that and then we find. Where is the door? Where is the door? There. Okay, so one, two, and then put that there, and then take the uh, pickaxe and go blam, and blam, and it's two, right? No, it's three, isn't it? Yeah, and then door number one, bada bing. Take this again, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Door number two, bada bing. Okay, we also need the wooden walls, which we have a decent amount, but it's probably not going to be enough. Then we press control, right? Uh, control. Yeah, there we go. Super fast. We also got to place the torches, and I got to remember, like, the, um, what is it? It's like a, so we got the table. We just need a chair, don't we? I think that's all we need. Okay, so that was about 100, and that pretty much did. So I think we should make, like, 100 more wooden walls. And you can hold right-click to do it faster, right? Okay, I'm getting a little good at building these houses, ain't I? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay. Okay. And then, finally, we just need a chair. I do believe. Boop, and boop, and boop, and switch to that. And then we want it just to be facing the table. Then, we click housing, question mark, boopity. This house is missing a light source, right? How foolish. How foolish. Okay, so... I want to place this correctly here. Good. And then over here, that's one block over... So kind of like... Oh, I might be able to just get on this table. Yeah! Okay. Then housing. Click, click. This housing is suitable. Fantastic. Okay, so now the fisherman can move in. And we can begin his quest. Alright. So, yeah. Got killed by Skeletor. Cool beans. Skeletron. Whatever his name is. 
Um, but, you know, we're getting there. We just definitely need some damage. I feel like in the last playthrough, we had more damage, basically. I feel like we had just something that, like, could really uh, pack a wallop, and we haven't really found anything like that yet. So we'll have to do that. But other than that, yeah. Uh, let me know any hints or tips in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite graphical style. I would love to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Definitely check out the other series, by the way. Bye-bye.